project number one, we are going to repurpose this little section box. It came with a variety of snowflakes. I took them out and put them in this blue box where I store all my little wooden pieces. The sky is a limit when it came to repurposing this. I had so many ideas, I just wasn't sure which one I wanted to use. In the end, I didn't use any of them. I ended up making a tic-tac-toe game out of this. I could have used it as a little trinket box, flip it over, add some sort of decoration, use it as a stand, use it as a prop for a future video. I mean, so many ideas. So to put together our tic-tac-toe game, I chose two different types of snowflakes, five of each, and I painted this set with the Waverly wax paint. As for the other snowflakes in the box, I left them neutral. I left them as is, basically. So the hack for this project is to add this snowflake onto this cosmetic sponges. They came already attached like that, so it was perfect when I cut them out. And I just added the snowflake and made it into a stamp. For this second project, I'm going to be recycling three of these cosmetic boxes. Here I'm covering the bottom of my box with some jute rope and all I'm doing is a zigzag motion. As you can see right here, I'm done with the zigzag motion. Now I'm just basically going to add like a rim towards the edge so that when I start wrapping the rest of my box, it'll be flush to it. The hack to this box project is to fold in the lid and use it as a planter. This box here is going to be my gift box. So I need to open that top portion of my box. I don't want my flap gluing onto my rope. So now that I'm done wrapping the box, I'm gonna go ahead and continue the wrapping of the top part of my lid. And we're gonna do the zigzag motion here. And you don't have to cover the ends very well because in the end, we are gonna end up gluing some rope around it to create a nice little rim to give it a nice flawless look. So to cover up that imperfection that's in the bottom inside of the lid right there, you can glue a piece of stock paper or paint it and write a cute little verse on it. Here it is. I think this box turned out really cute, really nice. And there's the rim that we added just to make it look more flush to the box. So out of three boxes, I made one into a gift box and the other two I made them into planters. I basically just folded the top lid part into the box. So if I do want to turn it into a gift, then I can go ahead and take it out and add some rope. And here's how I made the tree. I went ahead and cut out a piece of cardstock paper together with some of this material into the shape of a tree. Then the little hack for this project is this little brush that I created out of macrame rope. I went ahead and wrapped some masking tape around this little tiny piece that I was about to throw away and then used it to spread the glue around my cardstock paper. I do recommend that when you're gluing something over cardboard, stock paper, or even a poster board that you lay a book flat on top of it until it dries out because it tends to kind of warp or like bend sort of and that way it'll stay nice and flat for your project. All right everyone this is the final product. I added some letters from the Dollar Tree and some baker twine to make it look like a little gift box. I bet you can't guess which one out of the J and Y is the actual gift box. <laughs> I just realized I don't remember which one it was, but I want to think it was J was the gift box. And then I just kind of uh, switched them around. Anyways, this is my favorite look. This is the one that I'm going to keep up for the holidays. These are the materials for project number three. A sponge brush, some white acrylic paint, this Kleenex box, some of this material, one of these burlap sheets, and one of these tumbling block box. Here I'm just going to paint the Kleenex box with the white acrylic paint. I gave it about three coats and the last two coats I dabbed the paint on. 
Once I'm done painting what's going to become our snowman, I'm going to set it to the side and let it dry. Meanwhile, we're gonna gather all our pieces for our hat and construct our hat. Enjoy the making of this hat. The steps speak for themselves. I think this hat turned out really cute and once I add all the greenery and all the decorations onto it, it's gonna look perfect. I purposely cut the box a little bit longer than a normal hat. That way by the time I'm done with all this decorating, you can still see the top of the hat. For this project's hack, I'm going to add some dots with some red Sharpie because I overdid it on the white paint on the berries. And to finish my hat off, I used some leaves from that same pick and some of this wire that already came pre-roped. And I think it turned out very adorable. I like it. I'm loving the texture that the dabbing of the white paint left onto this Kleenex box. It almost looks as if it's actual ice. So really 3D, very nice looking. <laughs> I'm more of a googly eye type of person, but I decided to test my skills and draw the eyes out. I think they came out okay. The hack for this project is painting the tip of a floral stem orange and creating the carrot for its nose. At one point, I thought I might have created this nose too small, but it's perfect. Now with that same Sharpie, I'm adding in the mouth and off camera, I decided to add some, ro <laughs> some rosy cheeks onto the snowman. I think the snowman turned out so, so cute. And for the scarf, I'm going to use the same material that I used for his hat. And to make this part look shaggy or kind of tassely, I removed a couple of layers of string. And 
And as for the buttons, I used the smallest round sponge paint brush that I had and some black chalk paint to create the buttons. Oh my goodness, I think it turned out so cute. He's so adorable. This is before his rosy cheeks. With his rosy cheeks, he looks even more cute. After that repurposing recycling video I had with my sister, I got inspired to recycle some more. Here they all are sitting in my coffee table looking spectacular. Let me know which one of these you guys liked down in the comments. And with that said, see you guys on the next one. Bye.